Hey, uh, this is Night Scientist here with another video, and this video is going to be about a uh, very, very simple, um, you probably make it around the materials around your house, that's what I did, a very, very simple little crossbow, and I have the materials laid out here, I have a hacksaw, then I got a hanger, a broken hanger, but you know, I already made the bow, and I just had a, shoe, a shoestring on there, All right, and then I have a file, and then I have scissors and then this is just a piece of uh, carbon fiber you can really use anything this is a uh, or yeah carbon fiber but I I've used uh, dowels in the past because I made several of them and then uh, skewers for your ammo and then a clothespin clip one of those kind and then just some wood I guess uh, and then this is a cool little thing you can a q-tip a, um, a Q-tip, a lighter, and uh, some Vicks Vapor Rub, and that is um, for flaming arrows, which I'll probably do that. What you want to do first, step one, I'm sorry, I don't have any editing software, so I can't edit you know, stuff together to make it look pretty. This is all just informational. Put this stuff aside. I'll deal with that later. Step one. For this, uh, you're going to want to glue the clothespin uh, to here, and make sure it's facing the longer end of the setup, so I'm going to do that real quick. Take your hot glue, and glue that on there, yeah, nice little bead of hot glue right there. doesn't have to be pretty, you know, you're not impressing your girlfriend with this or anything, <laughs> or your boyfriend if you're one of those out there. Um, just, you know, make sure the bead's nice and thorough so it doesn't, you know, snap off on you. Alright, so it kind of looks like that. And set that over here to dry. And then, what you want to do then is you got your bow set up, which is just, which what I did was I got the hanger and then um, cut right here with the hacksaw and then right here. And then uh, these little things I didn't have on this one, but you know, whatever, just snip them with a pair of scissors. And, um, and I just uh, glued, or not glued, drilled a hole right there and right there. And then, and then I just uh, strung some shoe, some shoestring in there. So you make like a nice little bow type thing. Alright, now the clothespin is pretty much dried now which is stuck to another piece of wood, which, you know, whatever, who cares. And then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keep these, keep the, um, right in the center. So it's going to kind of look like that. And then um, you're going to want to glue uh, this piece to here. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I need to find the center, and found the center. You want to keep the string above it and make sure the clothespin is upright. And have a little bit of hot glue on the carbon fiber stick. And stick that to this end. Again, you don't need to use carbon fiber, it's just stronger, had it laying around, you know, whatever. Big deal. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that gonna want to strengthen that that's just temporary so it stays where it is and then kind of do that another thing you can do is put like a very very small binder clip and just have on the under on the underside of that it's a little chunk of glue um, on the underside of this you can have the binder clip and then the bow actually clips into it and you can unclip it and make it more concealable but you know whatever and oh by the way it's not going to be super powerful you know it's just kind of a little fun you know, like thing that you can do in an hour if you haven't done it times sometimes already it shouldn't take me an hour to do it. this is really quick for me I've done it many times and many I mean like three or four but you know I have experience doing it um let that dry and then uh, during that time we're gonna make the flaming arrows and freaking high glue strings everywhere I hate them um, and then my design is that 
the pointy end of the skewer. See if that focuses. I don't even care. Right there, the pointer and pointing pointy end of the skewer um, sticks into that little red part, the little red mark that I marked in this, right in the center. That sticks into the string, so you know it doesn't go anywhere. And then the string is brought back and then clipped into there. And then uh, you just uh, press down on that, releases it. But then on top of the crossbow, you have the small piece of PVC pipe. And then so that just kind of guides it so it doesn't go everywhere. So I guess I can just kind of plop that on there like, you know, nothing's happening. Who cares? Uh, yep, put that right on there. Just like it's nobody's business, not gonna offend anyone here. Just saying stuff for random commentary because I'm bored. Alright, so you kind of plop that on there. And then that's like that. And whatever. So it's functional right now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can uh, take it out and do a metal test, but now I gotta finish it all the way first. You know, you have to have some aesthetics to it, otherwise, it's just gonna look like a piece of crap. And, um, and what you're going to want to do, well, here, you're going to make flaming arrows now, you're going to need the skewer, you're going to need the q-tip, and then you've got some tape, you're going to attach the q-tip to the flat end of the skewer, so I'm going to do that real quick, while well, the hot glue is drying on the crossbow. And you can really use any kind of tape, it doesn't matter the weight of the arrow. The more weight on the front, the more stable it's going to be, it's just not going to go as far. Um, you just kind of tape that onto there. And I haven't done any measurements, so this may just, you know, like burn up the inside of the PVC pipe, but you know, who cares? It's, this is in the name of science, everyone. I mean, my name is Night Scientist, it has to be in the name of science for everything. And clip that. Got nice little thing just kind of on there, and then what you're gonna want to do, and I'm gonna do it later, is I'm gonna dip it in the Vicks vapor rub because that stuff's flammable. Or you can also use like petroleum jelly, as long as it's like an oil-based type product. So I'm gonna set the arrow aside, and then there's the crossbow, which should be pretty much dry by now. Do a quick little tension test, I guess. I'm gonna stretch this back with one hand, I doubt I can, but you know, whatever. Uh, stretch that back, okay. Looks good. As far as stretching it back. And then, um, it's pretty much done now. Actually, it didn't take too long. Um, and then take a piece of wood, which I already made into a handle piece, uh, like 15 minutes before the video started. And then, like that. You don't want to attach that to the bottom with some hot glue or whatever, epoxy, whatever you're using. Alright. Kind of attach that to the bottom. Got nice glued up right there. Pop it in with some force. Force is required for this very important step of the crossbow, which is not really important. Alright. I'm gonna enforce that, reinforce that with some more hot glue. Alright, kinda hot glue that I'm doing it off camera. I really should get a tripod, because this is kind of hard to do for the camera. And let that sit. That's what you see. What you see is what you get. Simple. Very, very simple. Let that dry. And then while we're doing that, we're going to take the top off of the Vicks Vapor Rub. And then we're going to coat the arrow in the in that stuff. And it smells like a pine forest. Not like it's advertised. It's very vapory, and vapors are flammable. And yeah, I got that coat all coated up with Vicks Vapor Rub. 
And then, um, in just a couple seconds here, the hot glue is going to be dry on the handle. And then that's going to be it, so. Um, then I'm in my garage right now, so I'm going to open up the garage door. And then I'm just going to walk out, and then we're going to do a quick little test of the flaming arrow. So let's just see. Uh -huh, that will work, actually. So I'm just kind of like that. All right, yeah, it'll work. So I won't be burning up the PVC pipe after all. That's good. I have my hot glue gun set on high, so it's going to take a little while longer. And is there anything else I can do on it? I don't know. So I guess we're just going to have to sit and wait, which kind of sucks. I'm sorry, guys. It's just how it is. Patient. I'll just reinforce some stuff. So I'm actually doing something. Reinforce the little barrel part of it. And reinforce both sides for good reinforcement. Alright, uh, So now it's all good and reinforced. And the handle is almost dried, which is close enough by the time I get outside it will be. So you're going to hear a very, very large thing that sounds like a monkey that's about to eat your chicken in, the, in your backyard on a Tuesday, and it's going to be my garage door opening. Scary stuff right there. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to load the crossbow. Dad, making a video. Shut up. All right. Um, so then, load the crossbow. I can't do it uh, one-handed, but it's just gonna. Whatever. You guys know what the crossbow loads like. Shut up. All right, so stick that in there. And pull it back. Which it didn't stick into the string the first time. It never does because it's a dick. And um, stick that in there. Open up the clothes pin. And the uh, Q-tip just fell off. Just because it feels like hating me today. Alright, that should stay like that. And I need to... Ow, that hurt. Um, I hate electrical tape for these projects. I don't even know why I use it. Whatever. I'm just gonna retape this real quick. Sorry about that, guys. Just a couple minutes of just idle crap. I'm really sorry. Alright. I'm gonna tape this down so hard, you guys won't even believe it. All right, and that's taped in place. It still refuses to stick, so I'm just gonna hot glue it because you know, screw it. That should be a motto of mine. You know what? It doesn't work. Hot glue it and screw it. Yay! I don't know. I'm making bland jokes. I'm sorry about that. They're not even funny. Not even close. Let's get this hot glue down here. Hot, 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 hot. That's very hot. I forgot that hot glue was actually hot. Forgot about that. It's a very important step of everything. God dang it. Everything's sticking to me. That's job. It's doing its job. Good job, hot glue. It sticks to stuff. I don't know why I opted for the high heat setting. It's not like it's under like a million pounds of stress. Alright. Loading it. Right, everything is going good so far. Okay. I'm gonna light the flaming arrow. There we go. 
Flaming arrow is lit. Probably torching the PVC pipe. I mean, who gives a damn? There we go here. Can smell burning plastic. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! There is the flaming arrow. I hope that this 15 minute long video was worth watching because it was really fun to make. Um, yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.